Hello people of the internet, it's Amanda and yes, I'm back with a movie review after quite some time. Now if you haven't seen my previous video, I explained there that I took a short break for over a couple of weeks or over a month um, because so many things were just happening and I was pretty overwhelmed and I used most of my free time to just relax. But during the course of that break, I actually am watching a lot of like movies and catching up on some dramas and some of them I would really Really, really want to talk about here on my channel the first one being my nakoto misenso which is the topic for today's video now this movie stars naga seren of king and prince with eliza ikeda and also emoto tasuku now i was looking forward to this film when it was announced simply because number one there's a cast and number two the plot which was based from a book of the same name by the author f um was really kind of like intriguing like I was really excited for Ren to be playing a very I don't know like it's it's this sort of like existential thought-provoking plot that was really up my alley but at the same time I was kind of worried because usually when it comes to novel and movie translations um, and like just creating this kind of like vibe or like especially ones with social commentary in them it can get a little bit convoluted in a way so i was really worried about the execution and stuff like that but overall i was pretty excited about the entire thing and then the trailer dropped and for me it was one of my favorite trailers that i've seen last year um the cinematography was beautiful the use of color is really really beautiful more in the technical stuff um so i was really really excited about that and then i happened to like the movie dropped on amazon prime a couple of weeks ago so i was able to like watch it and yeah so it leads us to this <laughs> if you've been following me on twitter then as soon as i finished watching the film i immediately tweeted my thoughts on that and but yeah but i still figure that you know i want to make a dedicated video for this particular movie and so we're here right now now i watched it again last night just to see if my opinion of it would change or anything but hmm yeah i mean yeah <laughs> as usual let's get down to the plot first so as i mentioned earlier the book author is named f and i feel like it definitely adds to the layer of you know why this why the characterization for this particular book is like so the characters are named in a more general manner like for the lead for Ren's character it's simply named Watashi or I and then for Eliza Ikeda's character she was simply named Senpai or Senior and for Moto's character he was simply referred to as Kuro Kurofuku or the man in the black clothes and um it definitely you know it, for me initially when i heard about this i again it added to intrigue intrigue of what the plot is going to be about and at the same time i figured it can either go two ways like number one it can either be this narrative of this disassociating us from these characters so that we can see it through a different kind of like lens but at the same time I feel like it can also add to a relatability factor especially since um, names are very powerful when it comes to characterization so I was kind of curious like which way they're gonna go in terms of, of that aspect so that's another thing as to why I'm very interested in the film but basically so Wadashi is a character who is a college student and Things are starting to turn apathetic for him, especially considering, you know, financial issues, very relatable stuff, like contemplating if a certain subject or a certain course that you're taking for your degree really matters to the bigger scale of things or if it's just a waste of time and money that um, are supposedly resources that could go for other things go to other things and you know it started off as like that and certain realities in terms of you know um, getting laid off from part-time work because of economic stuff and it roots it all roots from this certain like flaw in the system if you will so the entire movie clinches the idea of you know society isn't particularly kind especially to those who don't fit a certain mold 
Um, and I think here the fascination starts when Watashi discovers this secret society that is led by Kurofuku. And it was really more of like them causing some chaos um, in a manner that disrupts the, the ecosystem that they're in. In it started out with like small matters, like um, causing eruptions in in what do you call this, like a school ash, like ashtrays. Is that what you call it? I don't know, but yeah, like where you throw your um cigarettes or you dispose your cigarettes or you know like um causing a little bit of chaos or like fake news in a way so that it could um it would disrupt the classes. And at the same time, Korofuku is um. A genius developer, a genius ID person who can get into like sort of like he has this immense amount of money because he's developed a lot of like websites and programs back when he was still young. And so that's where he gets his resources in terms of doing the things that he does. But again, he's also another character who's very feeling very detached and apathetic about, you know, other things about society. And because of it, it becomes this like like banding together of misfits in a way but it's not in a manner that is similar to you know how there's like a bigger purpose or a bigger bigger like an initial altruistic vibe to it because even in the beginning the main purpose of this gathering or this idea is to blow up blow up tokyo um, and to sort of like create this new world in a way. And there's this messianic theme going on that Watashi is finding himself lost in. The only thing that kind of like detaches him from that a little bit is his uh, feelings or developing romantic feelings for Senpai. Now, even that, so for Senpai, you know, she's this character who's very, very charming, who's very, um, who's very kind to Watashi and it kind of it's kind of understandable why he sort of like fell in love with her but at the same time she also has a cruel side to her where she just strings him along in this idea of because of her own mundane like her own experiences of of being tossed aside as someone who's just mundane or anything like that um, she finds it easy to be around Watashi because this is a person that is fascinated by her and I feel like it's very you know it's it's all like Watashi is just being dragged along by these two characters um, and he the idea of it is he's very hyper aware that this is happening and he's letting this happen um, and it wasn't until that very moment that he realized that you know the whole uh, or the midnight the the project that is the midnight maiden war happening which is to blow up tokyo um was really happening an actual thing that it occurred to him that um things are not looking right and you know it was more of like his character realizing that besides the fact that he felt like he couldn't care for anything anymore he was able to because of these experiences but it was too late and it was just like I mean I know that my explanation itself is very very confusing and that's because the film itself is also a little bit confusing um and in my opinion like I feel like it 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 was attempting to be something bigger than it is because the idea of this secret club you know trying to welcome the misfits and those who are recovering from the violence in the pits of of, of and the hardships that society is unjustly bringing into their lives is kind of very similar to fight club um if you've seen the movie fight club but um it was it wasn't able to like drive anything home it just dragged on the conflict for too long and it wasn't able to like share anything in the end now don't get me wrong it had moments where it was really really like trying to say something like for example the idea of materialism and what it really means especially if in the end we're all just gonna be dust and bones anyway the idea of people who love power tripping people who 
don't understand the value and the money or the hard work of others and anything like that and it had moments where you know that it was trying to want to evoke something to the viewer but it wasn't i think it was because watashi was made to be this unreliable narrator and that we are seeing everything from his perspective the moment that um we're able to like supposedly absorb anything he was really detached from those situations and because of that any sort of realization or conclusion or anything to the story that would have meant something quite big and significant for whatever it is that this movie is trying to say was kind of lost in the end in my opinion i have to commend again the direction cinematography camera work is absolutely brilliant i love the use of colors like the way they kind of like play off warm and cool colors um and it's like especially for the muted moments where you know it's it's kind of like very very cool tone but then at the same time it doesn't look like it's it's almost grayscale like there's definitely a tinge of like light in there that really adds to the mood of the of the film i absolutely love one of the more like the ending sequences in the film with um senpai and watashi's character when they're just lying in bed and there's a circular camera work motion that was happening and the contrast of the colors with their outfits i absolutely love the choice of framing in that film i absolutely love a lot of the frames in this particular film as well like the way that they kind of like direct um or create like wide shots or close-up shots or there are some scenes where it depicts you know very chaotic camera movements um that add to the feelings of of what ashin was he's feeling in this perspective but again in the end like for me it is a visually stunning film and if you love these actors um i say go ahead and watch it but if you're not that into them and you're looking for this very like i don't know you're expecting this very like nice thought provoking kind of film like i think for me this would definitely be a miss to focus on just one thing or the other because it was so confusing as to whether the purpose of it was to drive this bigger societal discourse and conversation that of societal unfairness and cruelty versus this character was trying to find himself through that chaos so yeah so for me i don't know i feel like it got lost in a way that is trying to say too much and the attempt was there and i absolutely appreciate it i i appreciate the execution in a way that it was a very beautiful visually stunning film but in terms of if you're looking for that satisfying conclusion in the end for me it was just not it so yeah but still you know as i mentioned in my tweet when i talked about this film before i was really really happy that ren got to perform this part because personally for me i feel like there was his, this was his best role yet um outside of the confusing plot of the film i do feel like it, it was one of his most powerful performances especially you know in showing that apathy that's later that later developed into a, a level of despair for the character of watashi and i feel like he did a really good job in that and yeah so with that said um tell me down in the comments below have you seen this film what are your thoughts on it if you like this review please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me please hit subscribe thank you so much for watching this video and i'm looking forward to seeing you again soon in a new one